All right, what's going on, guys? So today is going to be just a super chill uh, episode of Subnautica. All we're doing today is is some base building. Um, there's going to be no story stuff. There's not going to be any exploration. I'm just building a base. I, I've said this before. This, this was my favorite part of the first game. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a whole episode out of it, you know, finding where I want to put my base and kind of starting to lay it out. I, ha I made a little bit of a base in between episodes over there just to get the basics, but I'm probably going to tear this down and move it over to where the other base is. So that's not even permanent. It's just I have the stuff to make a moon pool and everything, and I wanted to upgrade the sea truck. It's not staying there. So, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm chilling. I got I got some coffee and I got this. Look at this absolutely gargantuan cinnamon bun. Look at this thing. It's like the size of my head. I'm excited to eat this. Anyways, yeah. So if you uh, if you like this kind of thing, if you enjoy just a chill base building episode, and you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Leave a like and subscribe. And uh, if you really want to help support the channel, you can also become a channel member. So yeah, um, I think first things first is I want to figure out a good spot to set up my my base um it's probably gonna be somewhere in this biome welcome aboard captain uh actually and you know first of all i i have up in, in the in the right hand corner i have the uh the depth upgrade for the sea truck so let's get that um because i've been that's i've been meaning to get that for a while at this point install that Again, this is an episode that um, is going to be recorded before the second one comes out. My upload schedule is going to be a little bit weird because I'm going on vacation for like five days and I'm recording these episodes in a way that I have an episode coming out while I'm away. I'm scheduling this video to come out while I'm away. So I'm like recording things before I put them out to try and like stagger it. It's a little weird, whatever. Anyways, let me take a bite of the cinnamon bun. Yeah, that's pretty good. Kind of dry. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, I want to find a good spot to make this base. See, like, in this area would be kind of cool. Uh, but I worry about the bridges, like, causing problems when making the base. I might just do it, like, on top. I'm going to look around for a couple minutes. I'll get back to you. Okay, you know what? This actually seems like a little bit of a nice area. It's kind of open. There's a brute shark right there. Do I really feel like dealing with those? I had sand sharks all over my base last time. Maybe I'll go a little bit higher. Oh, also, I know some people aren't going to be a huge fan of this. I did download this map mod, but I don't really, I don't really like. This kind of looks like trash. No offense to the person that made the mod. I don't really like this as much as the last one. I really, I'm just going to use it kind of just for reference for where I am and where I would like to, or like where I end up going in certain episodes. I'm not going to really use this all that much. So like right now I'm in the Twisty Bridges Shallows. I don't know where any, I don't, I know that I've been uh, here in the, I, I think this is the island because that's the dock. And I think this maybe is where I saw that uh, Calicerate Leviathan. I'm not really sure. Don't know. Don't really care. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to try to stay in the Twisty Bridges biome. I like this area. I think it looks nice. It is a little, it's, it's open. It, <sighs> How do I describe this? It is open and somehow claustrophobic at the same time. Like this would be really cool if I if if I had more control over where I was placing stuff. Um, I would totally build a base down here. But I think building a base down here would be too difficult. You know what I mean? There's too much stuff in the way. I think the smartest thing to do would just be building it up higher, where I have a little bit more room to maneuver. I don't really want to make it near these weird things. They're they're just loud, you know? They're loud. I want somewhere kind of wide open. My last base, if you remember, was kind of like on top of like a little plateau looking thing. That was really cool. I like that a lot. I don't want to do like an exact, um, you know, like copy of the last one. Uh, but I do really enjoy how that one turned out. So I'd kind of like to use it as you know, maybe a little bit of a blueprint. Maybe like right here, actually. This is kind of nice. Maybe like right here. Nice and open. Let's see. Let's get out. Let's start with a multi-purpose room. I just want to... I wish I could... 
Extend build range. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I need a bunch of titanium, but I'll leave that there for now. Let's go get some titanium. Is it just me, or does the sea truck move, like, a good amount slower than the the sea moth? Is that just me? Also, in my last base, I had, I had two moon pools that were, uh, you know, symmetrical. I don't think I'm going to need that, because you have the sea truck and just the prawn suit, I think, this game. As far as I know, uh, there's no cyclops. Let's just take all the titanium. We're going to need it. Yeah, we're going to run out of titanium pretty quickly, so we can just start. I should make a beacon, actually. What do I need to make a beacon? Titanium and copper ore. Let's do that, actually. Put one of these titanium away. Give me a copper ore. There we go. Make a beacon by that base. Somebody told me to give um, a sea monkey a gift, like, a, a, like an ore, and then something will happen. Maybe I'll do that this episode. Okay. Cool. Let's build a hatch. You know what I really liked was the garden that I had. Um, I need glass for the, the glass compartments. Let's start with a hatch. Let's just start with a hatch. We'll get crazy later on. And uh, I think having the moon pool be over here would be pretty sick. get one titanium just to give it some space and then we'll bring the moon pool over I think that's I have enough space to make a moon or to, to, to deconstruct that moon pool I have where is oh, I have to make a beat I have to craft a beacon um let's make we're gonna need um, a bioreactor uh, and give us some power I should probably go get some of the stuff from that base and bring it over here. Um, like the solar panels. I'm not going to need those solar panels anymore. Um, okay. Beacon, beacon. There we go. Use beacons to mark traverse territory. Yep. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Xenoworks PDA. Right. And I'm gonna need lubricants, which I can get. I can get over there anyways. That's fine. Cool. All right, we got enough to make a bioreactor. We can make a whole, we can just make another multi-purpose room. Kind of like we had in the last one. Make that into a bioreactor room. Get some power going. Yeah, it's getting dark. Definitely gonna need that beacon. Okay, bioreactor. And there's no power in here yet. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Yep, yep. Okay, let's go grab some uh, stuff to get the bioreactor. I don't know what is a good, uh, I do not know what is a good fuel source yet. I'm just gonna grab some random fish and plants and stuff and just throw it all in there and see what works. Maybe these anemones, I have no idea. There we go, nice. Cool. Give me some power. power restored. All primary systems online. Nice. Cool. So we got power going. Hello, little peeper. Give me you. Give me you. All right. I think now we can go get um, our moon pool and stuff. I gotta figure out what this. There's two things though. So there's this moon pool, and then there's the sea truck dock. I don't know what this is. Docking bay for sea truck plus any attached modules. Maybe I should try to figure out what this is, too. This episode might have, like, more minimal um, editing than what I normally do, even though a lot of my stuff is just, like, cut comms. 
Um, I might leave in some of these random empty spaces. I, there's some people who um, are asking for, you know, some people want longer episodes. Some people don't really like how much I cut out. And I totally get that. I, I, t I tend to cut out stuff that I personally think is not maybe super interesting to watch. And it's, it's, it's stuff that um, I myself might um, skip in the video. So long periods of time where I'm just kind of traveling or, you know, in this case, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put a, a base and stuff. And I'm just kind of swimming around and doing whatever. Uh, I might leave some of that stuff in. Also, I'm not sure I exactly have all that much time to be, uh, to do a whole lot of editing. Wow, this is so blown out. What the? That was crazy. All right. Let's go back to base. I'm going to cut out probably this kind of stuff. Of me just going back and forth. Also, I'm going to be eating my cinnamon bun, so I don't really want you seeing me chomping down on the cinnamon bun all that much. So, goodbye. Grab. So, moon pool. Let's build this first. And then we can um, look into that sea truck dock. See what that's all about. Ooh, we're gonna need some uh, hull reinforcements too. I find the concept of like the hull strength a little interesting. It's interesting. I'm not sure how else to put it, but it it's something, you know? So cool. Uh, we can easily dock and undock here. That's nice. Love to see that. Okay, so... Sea truck dock. We're gonna need a lot of quartz. I should bring, like, the fabricator. Um. Over to this base. So I don't have to keep going back to, uh... To build stuff. Because that's gonna get annoying real quick. I have eight quartz. Cool. So I need to make four glass anyways. So that's great. Welcome aboard, Captain. silver. Do I have any silver left? I have one silver. I need more silver. Okay. Let's deconstruct this. And um, let's, let's bring this battery charger as well. Cool. Alright. I need to be looking for silver as well. So another mod that I downloaded, um, I'm not going to do too many, many mods. Um, uh, I only, I'm going to do what I did last game where I'm only going to do mods that I kind of think are kind of quality of life things. One of those quality of life things is a, uh, help is like a snapping tool for the, the base building. I find this really helpful, um, for just, it just makes everything look a little bit cleaner. A little more uniform. Cool. Put those batteries in there. I'm going to need them. I need to go looking for uh, coral, and I need to go find one more silver. There's coral. There's another one. There it is. Cool. I got the two coral. And um, I need... I can't remember what the ore is that has silver in it. Argonite. Oh, it's this right here. Argentite. 
I'm really curious to see what this is. Honestly. I'm pretty sure that the way that the sea truck works is like you attach modules to the back of it, I think. I haven't found any of those. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I believe that's kind of the gist of it. Computer chip and wiring kit. Easy peasy. And advanced wiring kit. Cool. Okay, so let's see how this works. Sea truck dock. Oh, you know what I should do first is I should build a reinforcement. I should definitely do that first. Because um, my whole integrity is not good right now. I, I'm just now remembering that. What the? Climb up the ladder. <laughs> um, I think I have some lithium back at my other base. Let's go get that. There we go. Let's just bring all this with us. And let's bring the uh, the locker. Get some storage going over there. All right, we're back. Get me up there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay, reinforcement. Let's put one here. Cool. Do I need another one? I feel like I'm going to need another one. Oops. Let's put one here, too. Okay. So now sea truck dock. Okay. I can have it go off of the moon pool. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah, let's see how this works. Nothing docked. Ooh, okay. Huh? Whoa. Weird. I'm assuming this is for the extra modules that you attach to the sea truck. So like right now, I don't really need this. But okay, cool. Yeah, I don't really need that for right now. But I think, and don't tell me, I'm trying to guess here. Um, I think that's what that's for. Cool. Let's get us a locker for right now. Let's put let's just put it right here. Cool. And um, probably gonna do the same thing I had last time, where I have a uh, a large room coming off here, and I'll have my beds and stuff. What do I need to make a large room? I don't even have um, I don't even have the the thing for it, the blueprint for it. So, not doing that yet. So I guess for now, let's just make another multi-purpose room. Oh, and I have a scanner room that I need to make as well. We can put that um, at the other end of this bioreactor, like we had in the last one. Oh, and I have a bed. I should make a bed. I should definitely make a bed so I can sleep through these nights. Yeah, we definitely want Emmanuel's bed because um, obviously. Because it's the big one. I'm going to run out of batteries on all my stuff. What the? Get <laughs> get up there. Come on. Okay. We can get our uh, creep vine samples here. I'm also going to have to start making a farm. 
I don't know if I'm going to be doing that yet, but that is definitely something I need to think about. Oh, I need another. That takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, it's definitely something we have to think about. I'm going to need to get some seed vine clusters and any other useful plants. And there was the, um, there were all those different plants on the island that I should also go and, and plant um, somewhere in here. Because I think that's probably going to be like the, um, why am I forgetting? Whatever the food source I used all the time in the last game, I think that's probably what is going to be the, 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 the same case for this game. Um, I need more. I need more titanium. Hold on. I, you know what? Never mind. I, I, I lied. I, why did I go out this way? I need to go get some. Uh, I've seen a ton of fragments, like sea truck fragments and stuff. I need to go find some of them and, and get some more titanium so I can make the room and also the bed at the same time. I, I'm just not thinking correctly. Here's a sea truck fragment. It really only gives me two? Seek fluid and take. All right. Just because he asked so nicely. Here's another. There's another down there. Oh, there's two more down here. Cool. There's three more down here. I got room for him. Let's take them all. Arctic Ray. Cool. Let's get multi-purpose room. There we go. Eight point three. Easy. Nice. Let me sleep. Okay, cool. So next thing is the scanner room. So we need gold, two copper. Gold, two copper, and a table coral. Okay. Cool, got the copper. Just table coral. I believe I have gold back at this base. I have one gold left. So let's go get that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, yep. Oh, and I have a bunch of copper here as well. Let's start taking some of this stuff. Cool. And I need to um, change out the battery on this too. No power. Yep. That's good to know. All right. Back to base. Let's see, put a modific modification station. Just put that right there. We just need somewhere to put it. That's cool. All right, and then scanner room, I can put somewhere over here, possibly. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Have it be like how we had it last time. Go through the bioreactor to get to the scanner room. A scanner room will allow you to survey the surrounding region for fragments and material resources like lithium or copper. Mm -hmm. 
or titanium if you need help finding it. For whatever reason. <laughs> this lady's kind of funny. I like her. Um, okay, so then we have the scanner room. What do we need to um, get the scanner room upgrades? We need magnetite. I don't know where to get magnetite yet. We need magnetite for most of the stuff. Not most of it. We need it for the, the HUD ship and the range upgrade, both of which would be very helpful. I don't know if those are things I can find just yet. So we might not be able to really utilize the scanner room, but it's here. We got it. That's cool for us. We got our bedroom. Let's see, let's put all of our different resources in here. We have exterior grow beds. Maybe we should make a, uh, or we have the blueprints for it and we have plants that we can use. Maybe we should do that as well. What is it, what do I need to do to make foundation? I need the lead. Okay. So let's go look, let's go uh, searching for some lead. Make a couple foundations. There we go. All right, we are good. We have enough for two foundations, I think. And maybe we can make a couple exterior grow beds and uh, get some plants going over here. Okay, cool. Exterior modules, exterior grow bed. The grow bed lets you grow plants and vegetables, providing flavorful options for evading scurvy. Cool. All right, we got some grow beds. I have some plants in here, I think. Oh, I have them in my inventory. Cool, ribbon plants. I'm gonna go back to the island real quick and um, pick up some of that. I don't even know. There were different kinds of plants that I could do um, interior grow beds with. So let me sleep. I'll go back to the island real quick, pick up some stuff. I just, yeah, this area would be horrible to build in just cause they're so, the, whatever those things are, just so loud, you know? Can't stand it. Yeah, like these shrub nuts. I feel like these would be good to have. Take a couple of those. Yeah, it needs two. And can I even plant? I can't, I can plant one, okay. I'm gonna need to find like the actual interior grow beds that let me have like four times as many spaces as this. That will be very useful. Um, I think this is where I'm gonna end it actually. Um, I said that this base wasn't gonna be too crazy. Got two rooms, bioreactor, scanner room, moon pool, sea truck dock, and a little farm going on. So again, normally this is stuff I would cut out, but if people wanna see this, if people wanna see the base building more, I'd be open to making more episodes just on base building because this I find really relaxing. I'm um, just kind of planning stuff out, putting it where I want. So um, yeah, let me know if you wanna see more episodes of just base building and um, leave a like and subscribe and everything to let me know uh, and comment and whatever else you wanna do. Next episode, we're probably gonna continue on with the story. I still need to go to that alien distress call. I need to get to that last known location of the pilot. I need to do a, do a whole bunch of stuff story wise. So I need to find uh, the, the place where my sister worked, the fire robotics. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, leave a like and subscribe and uh, appreciate you watching. Everyone have a good day and I will see you later. Bye-bye.